Hello guys, welcome to Sunburn Encounters. We have more prophetic love notes for you. Uh, we there's honestly a prophetic atmosphere right now. It's so easy just to just to get in the spirit and prophesy. You know the Lord tells us that in the last days He's going to pour out His Spirit and they will prophesy. Both young men and old men they'll dream dreams and both on uh, the men and the maid servants they will prophesy. And so we're here today to prophesy for you. The Lord's highlighted a couple more of you and we sought Him. Uh, to, to speak forth his word to your heart, and uh, we hope it blesses you. The first person is Thomas. And Thomas, while I was praying for you, I heard identity and truth. And I heard the verse, you shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. And I really feel like God is wanting to reveal the reality of how he sees you. Um, and I heard him call you beloved. God calls you beloved and knows that your heart's cry is that he is yours and you are his. He knows that your heart's desire is to fully belong to him. There's nothing hidden from him and he delights in you. He lifts up his face towards you. I see you as a lover and a warrior. You carry the heart of love, but you know how to do damage to the domain of darkness. You carry many strategies and the light that you carry enlightens every place you walk into. You have the ability to see and hear, and I feel like the Lord wants to encourage you in this. He's saying, rise up, mighty warrior, rise up. I also feel like God wants to encourage you in who you are. He has so specifically, creatively, and full of joy designed you. He knew you before you were even born. He created you in your mother's womb. He loves every gift and ability and characteristic that you possess. He placed them there specifically for great purposes. And I feel like he even loves your humorous and quirky side and also your serious side. You are very, very diverse, but it's very, very um, important to him in his heart. He sees how your heart burns with compassion, but he, he, also, he also sees that your heart burns for justice. He is proud of you and so excited for the plans that he has for you. And I also feel like he sees like, like a John. Um, you are one that he allows to come and lean upon his chest, but he also wants to call you up, to come up, to go higher. So I bless you, Thomas. All right, I have Kristen. And Kristen, as I was praying for you, I just really felt like the Lord said, um, was saying that that you've been having some attacks, just like um, just different things coming at you, different struggles uh, that that have just been coming against you, and have just been very hard. And and as I was praying for you, I just started singing uh, the song "The Great I Am," and it was it was so powerful. And I really feel like the Lord is speaking that over you and to you uh, in this time. And uh, one, of the, one of the parts in the lyrics that I, I love is the mountains shake before you, the demons run and flee at the mention of your name, King of, King of Majesty. Uh, I ruined that <laughs> punch. Anyways, it's awesome. <laughs> it can't be ruined, it's Jesus. Um, <laughs> but so I just really feel like the Lord is uh, speaking that to you and really encouraging you to just declare that and, and keep declaring his majesty in your life. And I also, when I was praying for you, I saw like uh, a phone charger uh, coming and just like being plugged into you and it looked like an Apple phone charger. But um, so I really feel like the Lord is, is coming to you and just charging your battery, building you up and putting you at full again. And just it's going to be a period and a time here that God is just filling you up and refreshing your spirit and your soul. He's really going to be refreshing, refreshing you. And also, just with um, what Apple appliances, you sync your your iPhone into your computer, and it, it you put it in, and it syncs the phone to the computer. And there's different things. And I really feel like the Lord was saying that uh, He's going to be syncing you to Him, and there's just going to be a lot of downloading and syncing back and forth with you and Him. And so it's going to be a time of just refreshment and, and just really good. And I also felt like the Lord was saying that you have been faithful in your steadfastness to, to believe in Him and to hope in Him through anything that you've gone through. And the Lord is also going to remain faithful to you. So hang on to whatever, uh, just keep hanging on to Him and He is building you up 
and I just want to release courage and strength and love and joy to you. Uh, in, the, in the presence of God, there's fullness of joy, and I just want to send that to you. I have a word for uh, Ryan. Ryan, when I was praying for you, I heard, I heard these words. I heard, when it seems like I wouldn't, I would. I really, really would. <laughs> That's a little phrase I heard, and I felt like the Lord was saying, uh, you hear him more than you know, and that he's in the midst of those coming decisions, those coming tough decisions that you have to make. I also sense the, while I was praying, I also sense the radical in you, Ryan. I really, I really did. And I feel like the Lord is going to manifest that specific attribute through you more prominently in these next coming days. And um, finally, this is real brief, but finally, the, I felt like the Lord was saying, be patient, be patient. It's just a matter of time. That's really quick. So I just bless you. I bless your discernment in those in these decisions and I bless your radical obedience in Jesus name. I had I had Amy and I had so much fun praying for you. Um, She's fun. Just seeking God for you. It was awesome. Um, and first thing I heard was gold digger. <laughs> and I saw you I saw you digging for gold. And I really feel like you've set your heart to find the treasure of the Lord. And I really believe that God is saying that you are richer than you know. Um, your desire for the things of God and your heart to search Him out is making you rich in the kingdom of God. And I feel like too that what you've sought after in the spirit is going to manifest in the natural. Uh, your prayer and diligence in seeking Him and serving Him is going to bring reward into your life. I feel like there's a blessing in finances coming your way. And I feel like the Lord's saying, as you sow into my kingdom, I will sow into your life. And I had a sense that God wants to speak about your family too. I saw that you have a really strong family. Like there's a beautiful bond between your family and I feel like God wants to use you guys as a powerful force. Uh, I feel like there's this beautiful unity between you guys and, some, and it's something that the devil's really scared of. Um, I also felt like God wants to use you as a family to bring restoration to other families and people in general. I feel like you guys can come in at so many different angles with your love for people and people are going to be brought into it. Restoration, restoration, restoration. You are a family of restoration, have a ministry of reconciliation. And I heard the word travel too. I don't know if you like to travel or what, but I feel like God's going to use you as you travel, wherever that may be. I feel like it's a new season for you all, and that the Lord is really, really excited about it. God bless you. Wow, and what's interesting is I saw I saw someone uh, go, in fact, this week got their passport. Someone just got got your someone just got a passport. And and I feel like the Lord said that that you have no idea. Um, he's setting you up right now, but he's actually about to open up countries to you and doors are going to be open up for you Not to just go to the place where he's sending you now, but many countries many countries I saw many countries and I saw many stamps uh, Of approval on that passport and so I bless you and I say buckle up because the Lord has quite a ride quite an adventure for you I also saw um, an elderly man maybe not elderly um, 60s, 70s in a green sweatshirt and uh, and I saw congestion in the lungs and uh, and I felt like the Lord said it was a physical manifestation of something that was happening in the spirit and that you're actually there's a congestion and an assignment of congestion over your life and right now I just rebuke that congestion I just curse that spirit of congestion and infirmity and I command it to leave now in the name of Jesus and if you take a deep breath in you'll find that the Lord is healing you he's breathing life into your lungs right now I bless you in the name of Jesus and we are gonna sign out of prophetic love notes with the ditty are you ready the mountains shake before you the demons run and flee at the mention of the name King of Majesty, there is no power in hell or any who can stand of the power and the presence of the 